I'm Tamara and today we are going to be sewing the simplest project that you could ever sew. It is a stuffed animal hammock. It has literally four seams so if you've never used your sewing machine before I think you can do this one. I'm going to show you everything in this video tutorial but I have two different versions of this hammock. One is smaller, one is larger and I have all of those measurements linked in the blog post that I've written up to go with this tutorial. That blog post is linked in the description down below. And at the end of this tutorial, I am going to share with you a good four or five different ways that you can hang up your stuffed animal hammock. So if you're wondering how in the world you're going to do that, please stick around to the end of this tutorial. I've got a few great ideas for you. All right, let's jump on in and get sewing. First things first, you need to straighten out your fabric. So trim away those jagged edges. For myself, I'm going to be using my salvages into my loops so I'm not going to trim those away but let's work on our long edge first and now it's time to fold it into a hem so you will fold it down a half inch give it a press fold it down another half inch press it and clip it in place and then you'll sew along that edge you'll do that for both sides and now it's time to create our loop now depending on what you're going to use to pull through your loop whether it's a thin ribbon or a thin rope or maybe a thicker piece of ribbon or lace whatever it is it might change how wide you want your loop to be but for myself I'm going to fold my selvage down so that all of that white selvage is hidden now if you're not working with a selvage you could probably just fold it down a half of an inch and then then your second fold down should be about one and a half inches if you are using a thicker ribbon like what I'm using. So my ribbon is about one inch in depth. So I want my loop to be one and a half inches deep. Give that a press and then you'll pin that in place and sew along that inner edge. You'll do that on both sides as well. And now it's time to pull your ribbon or your rope through your loop. Now I have this wonderful tool. It is a super cheap sewing tool that I enjoy using a lot in my sewing tutorials. I will link it in the description down below. All you do is you hook your ribbon on the end and then you can pull it through that casing or that loop as I've been saying. Now if you don't want to purchase something you don't have to. You can attach a safety pin to the end and wiggle it through that loop or casing instead. Either way make sure that it does not pop out of the one end as you're pulling because you don't have to have your rope or lace as long as the width of your fabric. Around three feet in length is probably plenty to cut your ribbon at. And once you've pulled it so that both ends are sticking out then you can match up those ends and then simply cinch down your fabric so it's in the center of your ribbon give it a nice knot or two and then a final bow to make it look pretty and that is all you need to be able to make a toy hammock before I jump on in and tell you all the different ways that you can hang up your stuffed animal hammock I just want to ask if you could please hit that subscribe button so you don't lose me on YouTube hit that thumbs up button if you found that this was a helpful tutorial because that helps YouTube know to share this video with other people and I'm always looking for new ideas so if you have any ideas for future tutorials that you want to see from me please let me know and you might see that as a future tutorial all right so the many different ways that you can hang up your stuffed animal hammock First off, you can go simple and buy some heavy duty command hooks. I will have those linked in the description down below. Those heavy duty command hooks are great for gentle children, for nursery rooms, and uh, if you're not stuffing it full of stuffies. But if you know your child and your child's going to be a little rough with this stuffed animal hammock, then I recommend either a few nails into some studs or these really good and they're also heavy duty wall anchors. They're not the kind that you hammer into your drywall. You actually screw them in and then they pop out at the very end. I'll link to those as well. They are my favorites. I use them all throughout my house. 
Another option is to actually measure the end of your child's bed. And if they've got two bed posts, you can measure that gap and then also add for your seam allowance on either end. And then you can sew it to the length of the bed. That way you can hook it on the end of your bed post. I've seen this done. I think it looks super cute. And of course, that's a really good heavy duty way, especially if you've got a lot of those really big squishmallow stuffies. I think that that's a great way to do it. And the way that I did it, my boys have some pegboards in their rooms. They use those to hold up all of their Nerf guns. So I just added some hooks into their pegboards and I hooked them on that way. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful summer. Like I said, don't forget to check out that blog post for all of those extra measurements. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.